Hey YouTube, today I'm going to do a deck profile on one of my more, uh, what I consider a creative uh, budget type of deck. Um, it's it's pretty budget in the sense that it doesn't have Excelix and it doesn't have Amnesty Messiah, but it does run uh, Alter Ego Messiah, as well as the new Genesis Dragon, uh, Trans Else Messiah, which is fairly easy to obtain. This card is pretty budget for a GR, um, but it's, it's a unique deck, so basically I consolidated uh, two of my Link Joker decks, one being a Star Vader, uh, break right and legion deck and I took some of a key card out of that deck and put it in here as well as one of its support cards so basically essentially what I did is I built a deck that uses the new uh, fighters collection uh, death star vader demon maxwell the g guardian for star vader or link joker uh, and the genesis dragon trans Else messiah and I combined that with the fighters collection cards from the previous one which had death star vader quintessence dragon so Without further ado, let's get into this. I think people are going to find this pretty fun fun to play Link Joker deck. If you can't afford to go all in on the Messiah build because you can't afford those expensive GRs, the Amnesty and the Excelix, especially the Amnesty. Uh, Excelix isn't really all that bad, but Amnesty is pretty terrible um, in terms of the pricing. But uh, this should be a pretty good alternative. And if you can't also afford to get all the Chaos stuff, um, this is a pretty good way to go. It requires like two trial decks plus some of the older trial deck. So, uh, for Alter Ego Messiah, this is still one of the main vanguards you want to ride into because it does have some pretty good uh, plays with Link Joker. Link Joker is really good against uh, a lot of other decks, but they do kind of require a lot of uh, strategizing to play effectively. Um, and then for the alternate grade three, like I said, I combine two Link Joker decks. So, Star Vader Infinite Zero, Dragon, he's he's probably one of the best break rides from Break Ride Era. Everybody who played during Break Ride Era remembers this guy. Uh, him along with Mordred Phantom were really good break rides, uh, which both came out surprisingly at the same time. They both came out from Trial Decks, so I don't know how hard it is to find him today, um, but I, I honestly don't think that he's that expensive, because uh, break ride cards are sort of not really paid attention to anymore. Um, but he did get a pretty good support uh, in the sense that he got a stride unit in the form of Quintessence Dragon. So basically, I wanted to combine the two. I wanted to be able to go into Transhell's Messiah when I have Messiah as a Vanguard. And then if I didn't ride, it, ride Messiah, then I wanted a Quintessence Dragon or some sort of other backup stride unit. So Infinite Zero is really good. It, you can potentially break ride Alter Ego on top of him, um, like in the middle toward the end of a game. Uh, once you've already strode your quintessent uh, and you've done some kind of crazy stuff like lock and omega lock um, but yeah these two together is not that bad and playtesting it's pretty it's a pretty fun build um, it's really annoying but all link joker decks are pretty annoying to play against so I like that he doesn't use any counter blast to do his effects so uh, you can use him and then utilize another really good grade 2 to do a lot of the locks that being Sunset Edge Dusk Blade. Dusk Blade is really nice. Uh, he can allow you. He's one of the very few uh, Link Joker cards that can actually lock an opponent's rear guard when the opponent doesn't already have a locked card. So very good with Infinite Zero and playtesting in the sense that uh, in turns where you can't stride for whatever reason uh, and you can't break right either because you're out of grade threes or you don't have any stride fodder. Uh, excuse me. You can. Um, swing and then you can like swing and lock some stuff uh, so I really like this guy uh, I think he's he's pretty much uh, underrated uh, Link Joker card and he's really obtainable he's easily obtainable he's been pretty much the amber for Link Joker uh, in G Guardian format and he's available in the trial deck with Alter Ego so very good I uh, really really like this rear guard a lot when I was playing Carvine Online people watching me this was pretty much my MVP uh, rear guard when I was uh, playing against Royal Paladins a lot uh, next, I am running for Lady Battler of the Gravity Well. Uh, she's she's pretty decent in here. Doesn't work too well with Infinite, but it's not the end of the world uh, because of the booster that I'm running. Um, she can sh her along with Awakening Messiah is how you get extra attacks uh, in this deck. So again, it's it's pretty much the older uh, Alter Ego build uh, without Arrestor Messiah and the new stuff that meshes really well. With Trans Else, or not Trans Else, uh, with uh, uh, Amnesty and Excelix. 
Um, but again, like none of this stuff is dependent on Messiah Vanguard. And also on top of that, Infinite Zero is a Star Vader, but he's not really dependent on us uh, like Star Vader cards compared to like Chaos Breaker and stuff like that. So Infinite Zero is a pretty good card uh, paired up with Alter Ego, I would say. Um, so that's the grade two lineup and grade threes. For grade ones, I'm running four Flowers in Vacuum Cosmo Wreath, just on flip Perfect Guard. It's really good with Amnesty because, not Amnesty, with Alter Ego because he tends to be counter blast heavy. Uh, then three Destiny Dealer. Uh, three or four copies, but the grade one space is really, really tight in here. So three Destiny Dealer because. Even if you do have to open up with Infinite Zero, it's not the end of the world because, like I said, he's got a pretty decent uh, stride form. So, I don't consider Destiny Dealer at 4 a must-have. I feel like 3 is is pretty good. Uh, and then 3, Lady Battler of the White Dwarf. You kind of want to run 3 of this. Minimum, I would say, is 2 uh, because this, along with these two cards is how you get your extra attacks because this this will main phase lock this guy then uh, usually it's like she'll swing then the vanguard will swing this will boost the vanguard or this can potentially boost uh, her um, and then yeah it can boost her and then it kind of lock awaking and then awaking will stand and then awake no then awaking will be standing up when he's unlocked and then he'll stand uh, her and then give her additional 2k so it's you can get like pretty good attacks with this combo and it's pretty budget this is pretty easily affordable uh it's also a promo but the reprint is double r so these are pretty easy to obtain cards i would say and i would also say if you can't get cosmo wreath it's not the end of the world you can just run regular perfect cards and the deck works fine uh then two clear out star vader broman broman is not really that essential um you, if you don't want to run him, I highly recommend the Trial Deck, uh, Lockbreaker, Riddle, Biter. Um, this would be a good alternative. Um, but Clear Out, Star Vader, Bromian is just, he's the support for Infinite Zero that came out in the previous Fires collection with the Infinite Stride. Uh, and then two, Dark Metal Chameleon. Uh, again, like I said, it's a budget deck, but this is, when I got this, this was like really easy to obtain. Um, so if you need one or two of this, it's fine. If you only can get one, if you only want to run one, then you can run the fourth Destiny Dealer. Um, or even like a third one of these. But it doesn't really matter too much. For the trigger lineup, it is the four Super String Theory. Um, deck doesn't Soul Blast too much. Um, but mainly just Quintessence is the Soul Blaster in here. Um, but she can, she can help you hit additional numbers. Uh, and then four of the Blink Messiah critical trigger. And then four random other critical trigger. Uh, and then four heals. And Neon Messiah is a starter because Neon Messiah, again, Alter Ego tends to be the more uh, go-to play with Infinite being the supplement uh, support. So uh, Neon Messiah is still a really good starter. Searching out grade three, uh, you get your Messiah. So you basically, like if you're striding with Infinite Zero as the main Vanguard, you go into Quintessence. Lock a front and a back of the opponent. Um, and then later, uh, you can get this guy with Messiah. But So, it doesn't really work too much with Infinite because you won't be able to lock it. You can lock it with um, her, with Gravity Well. Um, and then you can... And then it's just like when it unlocks, you get to search your guy. So, that's why four of her is, is pretty much a must-do, I would say. The Messiah with her is pretty good, with Infinite as the main vanguard. So that's main deck. For the strides, I am running only two Trans Else Messiah. People are probably wondering, like, how do you use this card? It doesn't seem good. On paper, it sounds terrible. Um, but, uh, especially since I'm not running Arrestor Messiah. But really, from what I found, um, this is really nice to use when you basically you don't have a field. Unless you have like Neon Messiah and that's it. Uh, you have like no rear guards. So you, you stride this thing and when it's placed on V, you counter plus one persona flip him. So you only be able to stride it one time. And you just lock, lock all the opponent's stuff. So if the opponent tries to rush you down early or whatever, which is, I mean, they're playing against Link Joker. They've got to try to do it anyway. If they don't, then they're just kind of delaying it and they're not going to win. 
so they do have to apply pressure to Link Joker because that is the way to beat Link Joker. Um, but yeah, this can kind of hard counter that sort of play. So it's kind of like the Kronos Command Revolution in Gear Chronicle. It's that sort of card. That's the way I think about it. Uh, and then I am running two Death Star Vader Quintessence Dragon. This is not a Persona flip, so I can stride it twice. You only really need to stride it twice per game. Usually the first stride, it won't, I won't have four damage, so I can't Omega Lock. So you just lock, lock a front and a back. Then if you have four more damage, uh, you Omega Lock those units. So usually the second one would be the Omega Locker. So there's two of those. Uh, next I'm running two Genesis Dragon Judgment Messiah. Just it's the on hit from the trial deck. Two of it is enough. Um, if I wasn't running infinite, I'd probably be running four of these because like I said, it's a budget deck. Uh, so this this can be a pretty good first stride for Messiah um, if you do have rear guards out. Um, and then two big crunch dragon for the big crunch play. Um, he's not too expensive as far as I know, um, but you really only need two. It's kind of like root flare for Link Joker. That's the easiest way to, to uh, describe this card. So literally, when you stride him during the main phase, you can counter blast one, persona flip a copy of him, and then you omega lock an entire column. So it basically like shuts down a whole column for two turns. It's really nice. Uh, and then one seal dragon, maximum seal dragon. If you don't have this, just run Blizza. Um, but this is probably this is probably more affordable than Blizza, which is kind of ironic. But it works in here really well because you'll tend to have like three things locked in the opponent's field. Minimum of two at any given time. Uh, one or two. But yeah, you usually stride this toward the end when you have like four, three, three things on the opponent's field locked, three or four. Uh, and then one air elemental sea breeze. This isn't that necessary because I am running um, infinite zero, but because it's a budget deck, this is pretty easy to obtain. So it's kind of, it's still pretty good. Uh, so you don't have to like break right on break right or do those kind of plays. Uh, and then for the G Guardians, three Death Star Vader Demon Maxwell. People complain saying it's bad. It's actually pretty good with uh, Trans Else Messiah if you haven't used this yet and you end up using this uh, before this. So not not terrible, in my opinion, at least from playtesting. Uh, it works really nice if you lock Neon Messiah with it. So there's that as well. Um, and then two Desmel. Just to protect rear guards and kind of like shut down opponents' attacks or restamp plays. Uh, for example, like the cross and the laurel stuff. Uh, and then one metal element scry you um, just because I had an open spot. So just run the six G Guardians, it doesn't really matter. Um, there is a reason to run more than four G Guardians. Um, and basically, it's, it's based off of how the match is playing out, like what you really need to defend that turn. Um, so, anyway, that's going to be my budget Messiah slash Infinite, Infinite Messiah deck is what I've been calling it. So let me know in the comments what you think of Infinite Messiah. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.